to you now, this is the, the, the one that's out at the moment. I mean, I've been writing, I've been thinking, I've been talking for six years. It wasn't until that interview in October that I, I again, I felt like I stumbled upon something else that I, that I want to share. And it's this simple thing, and maybe we can, we can think about it, some will agree, some will disagree, but I at least want you to think about it. Present the idea. Because obviously if certain things are not working as well as they could for our own personal health, energy, vitality, fitness, wellness, maybe this is just another perspective to consider. During the interview, I said, you know what, hold on. <laughs> I think it was live, too, live interview. He said, what, what you, you really want to share for people is around getting ready for the New Year's thing, New Year's resolutions, all this stuff. What can people do immediately, the people who are on the fence, the people who really want to pursue something, as far as New Year's resolution, wellness, fitness, get in shape, uh, kick bad habits, etc. And I said, you know what, I, I think I figured it out that most of us, most of us just aren't smiling enough. Because guess what? I don't like what I do for work. So when I get home, you know what? I don't feel like going to the gym. You know what? And I don't feel like eating healthy food. Why bother? I'm, I'm upset with work. I'm stressed out. I don't like it. And you know what? I don't even feel like being a good partner to the person I live with or the person I share space with, people I'm close to. How hard is it to get the enthusiasm to go do something like exercise, which is, which is good for us in so many ways, or to prepare, or eat, or spend the time, money, energy, or focus on healthy foods when I don't like what I do. I don't like my job. I don't like the people I work with. I don't like what I do five out of seven days or six out of seven days. I really believe that's why so many of us never pursue or achieve what we'd really like to in health and fitness. It's that one simple thing that's just not smiling enough. And the more, the happier we are, the more pumped up we are. You know what? I can't wait to go. Exercise isn't, isn't, isn't this on a, what is it, a gazelle thing? <laughs> it's playing basketball. It's playing soccer. It's dancing. It's aerobics. It's, it's going bowling. It's playing golf. That's, we need to, why, why have we isolated exercise to something inside a, a gymnasium, a, a, a rectangular concrete building full of iron? That's fun for me. Not fun for everybody. So I think the happier we are, we can find this deep meaning of why it matters. Why? Who cares about being healthy? No, I don't care. I care. Who cares about being fit? Well, some, some for some people, it's, you know, we hear this all the time. Oh, I want to be energetic and live long lives to hang out with my my grandchildren and all this stuff. Or I want to be a great role model for my children. Or I simply just like the way I feel. You know, I just don't want to be tired and take all these medications and this and that. But we have to be honest with ourselves and answer and say, we all have the amazing capacity to create change today. And what can I do right now to take action and make it happen so that 20 years from now, I won't look back at I could have done something.